She got my back, I do you go, I'm happy that, I do you go, say everything I do is for my woman. Alright guys, so we are back with another video. As you can tell by the title below, we are going to be making some fun fall things here in the kitchen. Now, I'm not necessarily decorating for fall this year, but I will be cooking some fall items um, in the kitchen. And um, today we're going to be making some ravioli i'm gonna try to make these crescent rolls i haven't tried this recipe yet but i'm gonna try that on here today and then we're gonna be making some pumpkin bread it was a little rainy today it was a little you know gloomy um it's still 90 degrees here in texas but you know we're, we're gonna just summit we're just all gonna come to an agreement that we're all gonna be in fall okay so um that's what we're doing and uh i got my water boiling here for the ravioli i'm making this four cheeses nothing i'm not doing that from scratch today i just don't have the time I'm trying to hurry up before i have to pick baby boy up from school so um let's just get into it so i can at least let this dough rise okay so if you like what you're hearing go ahead and follow me um into this next clip and let's do this All right, guys, so I know I just said I was going to try to make um, crescent rolls uh, or croissant rolls, but um, the family was hungry and I had to whip something up pretty quick. So I already showed you guys this like Hawaiian roll um, recipe that I've done before. Um, but basically, it's just like milk, cup of milk, tablespoon of yeast, tablespoon, tablespoon of salt three cups of flour a cup of sugar um mix it all up you know what i mean and then um i believe it's like a stick of butter and then you just melt it whip it together let it sit for about 15 minutes um cut them up in about 12 little rolls and then let it sit for another 30 if you can do like more than 30 minutes that would be cool and then you just pop it in the oven 350 for about uh, 20 minutes and it's good to go but i decided to cheat and just put it in like a whole loaf and it actually took way longer i don't know why i thought um <laughs> it was gonna work that way but um, i just went ahead and put that mixture in a loaf instead of separating them and putting it into like 12 different rolls and then while it was in the oven i made like a garlic honey hot honey garlic butter um i've done that here on my channel before i've done it in the shorts again it's just like honey butter and um red pepper flakes yeah and some italian seasoning and then you just mix it up and slap it on there when it's about to be done um but yeah i was super excited <laughs> about these metal measuring what do you call that what, measuring spoons lord i was struggling um yeah but um warming up the milk for the rolls showing you gotta need oh you need one third cup of butter not a stick but a little extra butter never hurts if you want to put a stick in but i'm gonna let you guys vibe out and i'm gonna talk to you guys in a minute okay
oh and fun fact i really love using a spatula to mix like bread in instead of like a bread whisk or whatever um it just makes me feel better and now i'm just covering up the bread letting it rise for a little bit but i did want to talk to you guys i know i haven't posted in like a week and y'all are like girl you be posting every day like what's going on um my son just started it was back to school for us and it was like real abrupt we weren't expecting it um him to start school already so it was like really rushy rush so i would just went ahead and um took a break because i didn't want too much on my plate and just kind of establish a routine if you guys want like a little routine like a morning routine i could do that for you guys but as of now like we're good it's the first week was crazy and um potty training and doing all the things and getting his uniform together was crazy but we're all good now and um just coming up with a nice meal plan is probably what um, I'll start sharing here so I can be more on top of it and you guys can help me hold me accountable and then maybe like one of you guys want to do the same and we can hold each other accountable but yeah that's basically all I wanted to say because girl I was laughing like I haven't talked to y'all in a minute and I felt some kind of way I don't know if y'all was feeling some kind of way but I missed y'all okay so now I'm just cleaning up my bread pan because we're about to make some pumpkin spice bread and i made this on my channel i believe already but um i didn't have the pumpkin spice cake so i just had like pumpkin pie cake mix it was like a spice so i had to like try to make up the spice part and get like nutmeg vanilla you guys will see what i do but um yeah i'm i am manifesting fall okay um sadly i'm not decorating this year for fall because my son's birthday is like right there and i kind of just want to transform the whole house into like his birthday theme which is bluey and so um we're just clean slating it i'm not decorating but i can always cook something fall so here's the perfectly pumpkin box box cake mix pumpkin spy mix ginger nutmeg and cinnamon and that's basically all you need and um pumpkin puree okay and one egg yes one egg <laughs> so that's basically what i used to make the bread and if you want to skip all that steps and just get the pumpkin spice cake mix and some pumpkin puree mix it all together put some chocolate chips in it you do that girl because it is so delicious okay but i just wanted a little taste of spicing because i feel like everyone's decorating on youtube and just like in general everyone's decorating their house for fall and i'm like oh i'm not doing it but i have fall candles that i was lighting while making this video so i was satisfied with this um and i will update you guys and show you guys take y'all along on the bluey transformation of the house okay because i'm doing two parties the first party is my son's birthday and then my man's birthday is going to be the after party. They have the same birthday, so that might be tradition for um, years and years to come because the kids play during the day and the adults are up at night. So <laughs> that's basically what's going to happen. I'll kind of take you guys along in a separate video, but I just wanted to give you guys an update, okay? I'm, I'm done talking your ear off for right now, but I'll, uh, I'll let y'all vibe again, okay? Let y'all vibe.
All right guys, so after you mix everything together, this is basically the color and consistency that you want. Kind of like cake batter, but a little bit of a bread batter dough, you know, a little 50-50 a little is kind of what I like. And if it's, I go by smell, so if it doesn't, if it smells too pumpkin-y and not enough spicy, then I go ahead and add more cinnamon, more sugar, or whatever the case may be. But I just went ahead and buttered up my loaf pan and just slapped my dough in there just see how it slaps like that boom just like that okay <laughs> um yeah and then i put it in the oven at 350 and i did it for about 25 minutes and then i did it 15 minute increments after that just to make it a little bit more golden brown at the top and then you guys will see me make an icing i've done it on here before but i really for this one i just used powdered sugar vanilla extract and then i put a little cinnamon a little pumpkin spice mix spice mix um and mix it up together now if you don't want to use all that you just want like a white icing melt like a tablespoon of butter with some powdered sugar and you can get you a nice white icing but i just wanted it a little bit more pumpkiny and a little bit more foully okay but do what you like okay babe and this is what it's gonna look like you're gonna smooth out the top and then pop it in the oven Mm. Mm. All right, guys. So, hey, hey. <laughs> All right, guys. So, I just went ahead and mixed that concoction up, and now I'm just drizzling it over with a spoon. And when I tell y'all this hit, now I really, I really recommend getting the pumpkin spice cake mix. Um, or if you guys want me to give y'all a scratch pumpkin bread, I can do that for you guys. But um, this tastes just as good, if not better, than the Starbucks pumpkin bread. Because I'm not spending $5 on that. That's a no for me. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know I enjoyed making this video and bringing some fall into your house, alright? And I'll see you guys in the next video. Anything I talk, where you talk, I go do uh -huh. I know they see another girl for my visuals. Yeah. Loving you, loving you, now in my rituals.